Hello everybody, welcome to Major at May. I know, you love it, don't ya? Um, <laughs> but today we have the Toyota Camry, right? No, it's a Corolla, dang it. From my good buddy, Diecast Car Guru on Instagram. So I did, you remember I purchased this from him. What the heck was that noise? Uh, I purchased it from him and just just a couple months ago but and we're gonna review it today a part of majorette mate with four other majorettes and uh yeah i'm not gonna have my whole majorette collection out here because i do have a fair bit of majorettes so you know we gotta get that away from you know us i have to learn how to organize my desk but here's the camry it, it's a pretty good casting for Majorette. We got the fog lights are done down there. And the trim around the fog lights. Grill is part of the base. Yeah, it's plastic. Very nice detail on the grill. The chrome is reflective. Very crisp Toyota logo. Headlights are plastic inserts. I, I, that's probably the best way you can do them. Interior looks pretty decent in black. I mean, it. What what other color would it look good in? Especially with the orange, you don't want a bright interior. So black, clear windows, just how I like it. He did um, sharpie the sunroof there, but that's the only custom detail he did on here. Everything else, maybe he did the mirrors. I can't tell. Maybe he put the chrome in the mirrors. There's also black trim. Is there a name for these things? These plastics in between the windows? I don't know if there is. It's black trim on the plastics in between the windows. That's the name for it. License plate kind of <laughs> sticks out. I mean, if you wanted to put a license plate on there, got the water slide decals from David at Twice Diecast. Is that Toyota? Yeah, it says Toyota. There's the logo. And you can see the chrome. Would that be turn signals? On the red tail light themselves. And then this chrome trim piece. Little reflectors down here. And some more Not reflective in the mirror. Jeez, I couldn't think of it. Standard major at wheels. Here's your base. We can never get those bases right. Pretty normal major at stuff going on in the base here. They don't do much chassis details, as you can tell. Uh, the exhaust is somewhat done. I don't know why it's so skinny over here. It's kind of hidden. It's probably not good. And it does have the suspension piece, but that's just basically. Useless doesn't do much It rolls very smooth with the suspension piece holding it in, but it really doesn't need it But there's the camera uh, the Corolla. It's a good representation of the Corolla I don't think there's any other Corollas done in 164 scale unless it's the A86 Corolla But let me see I'm Well, let me see uh, That lisp see uh, let me see I'm trying to think Unless, no, Tomica does, uh, this model Corolla, this would be like a 2015 maybe, yeah, Major I don't say, I don't think any other brands have done it, there might be a very obscure brand, or a brand that is not 164 scale that's done it, actually I can probably guarantee there's a 143rd scale that's done it, but I don't think it's ever been done in 164 scale, so Major Rat has the monopoly of these, I will not mind seeing more of these. It is a pretty nice casting. But that, that's where we end it for today. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Next May. Um, have a good one, guys. Bye.